created by Sega. Hey, what's up, player? This is Catch22, and welcome to the Sega Holic. In this episode, we're going to be looking at isopropanol, otherwise known as isopropyl alcohol, or IPA, and why it's essential on your benchtop. First things first, this is footage from episode 23 in which I'm using 99% isopropyl alcohol. This product here is branded for electronics use, but the ones from pharmacies and retail stores are exactly the same. Zooming in on a label, you can read the advantages and uses for isopropyl alcohol with electronics in mind. First off, this is 99.9% .9 ultra pure anhydrous alcohol anhydrous meaning it contains no water. It does beg the question though, what ingredient comprises the 0.1%? I tried googling for an answer but came up with nothing. Anyways, an advantage of it not having water is because water dries and leaves behind residue. So this would be the best solution for cleaning laser lenses on laser pickups. Next off, IPA is plastic safe, so it's great for cleaning the shelves of your consoles, or even the controllers. Just be careful when cleaning around or on the logos that's printed on the consoles. For example, I wiped the logo from my NES that's on the door hinge right off. That being said, I've had no other issues with any other consoles. This in combination with the magic eraser is great for taking off even the most stubborn stains, including permanent markers on textured surfaces. Next off, it has a moderate evaporation rate, which is important because you have peace of mind when cleaning uh, components that when you turn on power, the liquid is not shorting anything. And further, like I mentioned earlier, it leaves zero residue. And best of all, this is friendly to our environment. Now going to MG Chemicals website, who are manufacturers of electronics related um, chemicals such as flux, and solders. They state that as a cleaner it is fully miscible in water and most organic fluids, making it good at dissolving dirt, light organic contaminants, and ionic flux residues. Since the 824 is highly anhydrous and hygroscopic, it readily scavenges water off surfaces, trapping the water in the IPA solution as an azeotropic mixture. This helps to dehumidify surfaces. Further, since the 824 is safe for most plastics, seals, ceramics, and printed circuit board components, it is used heavily in the electronics industry. It is great for cleaning screens, stencils, fiber optics, cables, keypads, printed circuit board components, or electrical contacts and connectors. It is also used to clean oxides and grime on audio or video tape heads. It effectively removes light grease, oils, and flux without adding additional residues to contacts, relays, and circuit board connectors. It is quick drying relative to water. Further, it can be used to wash off more aggressive organic solvents like acetone or toluene. Now let's take a look at dispensers. This is the type of dispenser that used to be my workbench when I used to work for a major aerospace company. These have a pump top and dispenses liquid when the top is pushed down. The bottle is made out of ESD safe plastic material. This particular bottle is made by Menda and you can head over to the Menda website to take a look at their full line of ESD safe dispensers. Menda offers three types of pumps. One is a lockable travel version, another version called the pure touch which does not let liquid left in the dish go back into the bottle preventing contamination and they also have this version which is the one touch which lets liquid left in the dish go back into the bottle after a short period of time. As you can see here, the pumps are sensitive enough to be allowed to be pressed down with a cotton swab. Here's a round bottle version by Menda, which uses the same one-touch pump used by the other bottle. Here you can see the ESD Safe logo. Both this bottle and the previous one holds 6 ounces of alcohol, which is a lot. Again, these pumps are very sensitive and really easy to push down. Inside are some labels, but I used my brother um, labeler to label mine. 
This is a new 4 ounce bottle by r and Lotion. These have much better labels than the Menda version. Though the r and plastic body is a bit softer than the more rigid Menda bottle. Also, the pump came sealed whereas the Menda pump was not. Comparing the Menda and the r and I think the pump on the r and is better quality as it has a better finish while the Menda has a better bottle because it's more rigid. As far as ease of pressing, both are fairly the same and as you can see here, this one also can uh, be pressed down easily with a cotton swab. The pump used here is their purity pump which prevents liquid left in the dish from going back into the bottle, preventing contamination. These anti-contamination pumps usually have their center spout protrude above the dish. Here's a comparison in size between the 4 ounce r and lotion dispenser and the 6 ounce Menda dispenser. And here we compare both pump assemblies. The r and has a fatter tube and is uh, better finished. And again, sensitivity is about the same. Here's the r and Lotion website where you can check out their other products like their ESD safe flux dispensers. And lastly, both brands seem to be major companies that supply the electronic industry and you can't go wrong with either one. Anyways, make sure you guys subscribe and leave questions or comments in the comment section. Bye!